Now, uh, coming back to the main program, see this is, I would like to uh, give you a brief about the evening and why it, uh, how it, uh, uh, the idea of having such a con convention had come to us. And it was, it happened, uh, you know, a month back. Uh, the idea was always in my mind that there has to be a, 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 a initiative which would address and which would, which could, which would discuss and debate. Uh, the governments uh, which are in in power, whether it is in center or in the various states, because as a as a as a citizen of India, as a citizen of India, and when we are we are a, living in a democracy, when we have uh, uh, a voting right and we have uh, we are people who make these governments, uh, we are making these governments with aspirations. We are making these governments with our vote, trusting them that they will fulfill the desires and they will fulfill our, uh, our uh, uh, ambitions and they will also, also keep up to the promises they, which, they, which they give us in their manifestos. So ultimately, uh, what, 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 uh, what uh, is boiling down is repeatedly, from, since the independence, if you see, Many promises are being made. I'm not, we are not particularly saying this government or that government. As a citizen of India, we have certain rights. If you have seen in the invitation also on the back of it, we have, give, we have given six you know, fundamental rights each Indian citizen enjoys. And we're coming to those, if you elaborate and if you try to stretch and understand them deeply, uh, there we find there are so many, so many uh, hurdles and there we find so many flaws which we see in our day-to-day interactions with the people in the society in the governments whether it is discrimination whether it is discrimination whether it is you know, uh, you know uh, giving of uh, um, services or whatever you know on basis uh, what are, what is the basis of that it is always on the basis of religion basis of caste basis of language basis of region and several in in sub sub caste in hindu community there are sub caste there the, the, there is there is a big amount of discrimination we are seeing every every day today i do not want to take more time because they, we have already started very late the main main object of this uh, reach ngo is uh, to bring about the actuals of the performance of our governments. We are seeing this government, UPA 1, UPA 2, as the, as the uh, topic goes on, UPA 1, UPA 2, promises, performance, and the last window of opportunity. See, the point, the point which I want to make here is, traditionally we have seen, we have been, you know, uh, as a community, we are always supporting a government which is being led by Congress, except for certain years in certain terms for reasons very well known to you the the community has sided aside with them but when, but more or less we have been supporting we have been at 180 million community has been supporting you know unconditionally almost for several decades and when we again see that reports are being made that the community after 65 years of independence is not going ahead a bit it's still on the same wedge and it is in some cases it's going back also so we have it is a time for introspection for us today so that for with that objective what we thought we will bring in the speakers like dr zafar mahmood has from last maybe several years he is raising all these issues and on each table there is a pamphlet in urdu and english which gives about 20 points which are essential, which were committed by the government of the time today, that is UPA 1, UPA 2. And we have, uh, uh, we have, we have, we have seen all of us that they, the, the, the commitments are not being implemented in letter and spirit. Maybe there may be having, they may be having certain restrictions, they may be having certain reservations to do that, but we have been with them for getting these things done and we have trusted them and we have voted them. Once we have trusted and we have voted, I think in a democracy, in an advanced world like today and in a modern age, one, one, one person when he cannot flaw on his, on his terms of speaking, he cannot go back on what he commits to people or individually, how can a government of this stature having 1.23 billion in, in, uh, population can flaw on their own written commitments in their manifestos. So that is the idea. So that idea, we, we wanted it to be discussed, opened up, and brought 
on the on the table with different views maybe there are there are flaws in our own community we do not know maybe there are flaws with the political system maybe there are flaws in our own way of working and mechanism of the administration maybe there are flaws uh, which we are not really aware but as a, as a common citizen we may not be aware now this is an opportunity for us all of us to understand them because dr zafar mahmud is here dr ms janab mohammad adib is there and people like you know uh, p a inamdar is here Mr. Aziz Shah Sahab is here, so we will be able to understand more better and make up our mind how how best we can get together with the government, with the community, and the people around us. People around us, the the majority community. We cannot live in an island. The community, Muslim community, cannot live in an island. We are an integrated part of this nation. and when we have integrated part of this we are integrated part of this nation we are we are as you know uh, uh, if we have any idea if we have any uh, resistance to get slightly you know detached from them that is not going to be in our interest this is what i personally feel an inclusive society when we say we have we are having all rights equal rights whether it is you know in in constitution in parliament in day to day life in public public domain everywhere there is equal we are we are blessed with equality justice all these things are common still if a community is going back there must be very grave reasons those reasons we want to analyze here i do not want to continue more because already we are too late now the main speaker for this day janab sayed zafar mahmud i would request dr zafar mahmud please if we give him give him a big hand he will come and give a keynote address on this topic of upa1 upa2 promises performance and last window of opportunity to open up the session please dr zafar mehmood sir please